Lewis and Arthur Cone. the biggest predator that the world has seen up until this time. He sensed me here. Yeah, my heart hammering. I don't want to be grabbed by those tentacles, but those simple eyes, they should shun the light. So all I can do is start flashing my light and maybe that will discourage him. Spotted one of the sea scorpions. They're dragged back to the mouth. There's a horny beak. Oh, you can hear it. I can actually hear it under the water. Hear the crunching sounds as the sea scorpions are crushed by the beak. These author cones probably spend a lot of time in deep water. Light doesn't penetrate too well down there. So the eyes don't work very well and they rely on another sense. They will actually smell out their prey and then crush them to bits. The author code, that really is the top predator of Ordovician times. It's not swimming very fast. If I can catch up. There. Ah, uh, yes. Right up to the tip of the shell. It's a wonderful texture. And I am hitching a ride on the back of an author cone. Hey! As it got gloomier, I realised the author cone was dragging me deeper. Time to get off. Thanks, author cone. Thanks for the ride.